Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Look MRI, and this is a patient who had an injury about six years ago, has had continued pain, and finally got an MRI here, and on this view, we have a view from the side called a sagittal view. And to get the anatomy here, we see the tibia coming down to this bone below, which is called the talus. This is the talar dome. In the back, we see the Achilles tendon. Here's the muscle, calf muscles. Achilles tendon coming back to the calcaneus, the heel bone. These are the torsal bones. And on this view, we see the talus is more horizontal than we would like. Normally, the talus has the back talar dome here, higher than the anterior talar process. And this one's a little more horizontal. And there's some thickening of the bone up here. looks a little unusual. And if we go off to the side, out lateral, we see the calcaneus here has an anterior calcaneal process. looks like a finger here. And normally, it is not quite so prominent and this bone here, in front of the talus, this is called the navicular bone. And the navicular bone often doesn't articulate with the calcaneus, where there's a, if it, it comes close but doesn't really articulate. And this patient, it looks like it touches it there. Here it looks like it's too broad, the articulation. And on this view, it looks almost like there's continuity. It's probably just a fake out, but it looks like there is a bone bridge going between these two. But it's probably just volume averaging where it's probably a little gap there we just don't see it because it's oblique but this is too prominent the association between these two bones here this is what we call a coalition sometimes you can have cartilage in between here at this anomalous articulation you can have fibrous um, material that binds them together or you can sometimes have a broad bony bar an osseous coalition that'll make this a big block of bone and, and these things can cause ankle pain, and that's, I believe, contributing to his pain, this calcineo-navicular coalition. Now, he also has something else here that is uh, a problem. If we go out more lateral, we see a bone erosion here of the anterior calcaneus. This bone is called the cuboid bone, and there's a bone erosion here, and there's also some spurring up top. If we go out lateral more, more spurring, and out here way lateral, more, more spurring. So there's spurring from the dorsal or top, and lateral margin of this joint. So this joint is abnormal with spurring, erosive changes, and we'll see marrow edema. Now in this view, this is called an axial view. Here is the lateral side. This line is going right through it here. We see the bony spurring out here poking out sideways. And we see these areas of scalloping. These are the bone erosions. The black line is the articular cortex. And we see this bone erosion here. So the calcaneo cuboid joint, calcaneo cuboid joint here, has spurring and erosive changes, probably related to this coalition. And the patient has a more horizontal orientation here, the talus. And this is, I believe, why the patient's having their symptoms. This is just another view that shows the same findings, but marrow now is dark, except for the areas that are abnormal. So this erosion really stands out, this erosion stands out just a little bit. So these are the erosive changes. We'll be able to see these on this sagittal view as well. Here's the erosion of the calcaneus. This is the erosion of the cuboid bone. And that's it. So a case of a calcaneo navicular coalition where these have an anomalous articulation and associated degenerative changes between the calcaneus and cuboid bone causing their ankle pain. Thank you very much.